Have you ever seen something really tall, like a building or a tree, and thought, how tall is that? Well, today we're gonna learn a cool trick to estimate the height of anything with a pencil. Now, you're still gonna need a measuring tape for this, but you don't need a ladder or anything to climb up the tall object. So I'm gonna use this trick to measure a tree, but first I wanna make sure it works. So I'm gonna use it to measure something I can find out the height of. So here I have a lamp. What you need to do is hold the pencil out in front of you and walk away until the lamp looks like it's the same height as the pencil. Now stay right there and turn the pencil so it's horizontal and put the eraser at the bottom of the lamp. If you have someone else with you, have them stand by the lamp and then walk away until they get to the tip of your pencil. If you don't have someone else with you, put something at the tip of your pencil so you can remember where that is. I'm putting a book right at the tip of my pencil. You might have to re-measure that a few times to make sure whatever you're putting there is in the exact right place. You want it to be exactly the distance of your pencil away from whatever you're trying to measure. So now we're gonna measure the distance on the ground between the lamp and the book. So I got 38 inches. Let's check if that's the height of our object. It is. So now I wanna try something really tall. Okay, so I found a tree and I wanna know how tall it is. So let's do the same thing we did with the lamp. is that that tree is about 322 inches tall or about 27 feet. That's pretty tall. So there's actually a mathematical reason why this works. Let's check it out. So here I have my pencil and my tree and we were measuring it like this with another pencil or another tree. So what shape does that remind you of? That looks like a triangle to me. Every shape is made up of sides and angles. A triangle has three sides and three angles. Tri means three, that's why it's called a triangle. So what kind of triangle is this? These two triangles are called right triangles, which means one of the angles is 90 degrees. This angle is the right angle because one side is lying flat and the other side is standing straight up. What about the other angles? Well, all the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. With every right triangle, one angle is 90 and the other two angles are the same which means they are each 45 degrees because 45 plus 45 plus 90 equals 180. So now we know about all the angles in these triangles, but what about the sides? This triangle is made up of a pencil here and a pencil here, which means that these two sides are the same length because they are both one pencil. When a triangle has two sides that are the same length, it's called an isosceles triangle. And what about this triangle made with the tree? Is that an isosceles triangle? How do you know? If you said it was, you're right, because both sides are the length of a tree, so both of the sides are the same length. So in our trick with the pencil, we're actually measuring this side of the tree, which is the height of the tree. So we know that this side has to be the same since it's an isosceles right triangle. And then finally, what about this last side? This slanted side is called the hypotenuse. This comes from a Greek word that means stretching under. You can think about it stretching from one side of the triangle to the other. In a right triangle, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. We could measure this side, but we actually don't have to because of something called the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician and philosopher who lived over 2000 years ago. He is known for a rule called the Pythagorean theorem, which helps you find the length of the hypotenuse. However, people in other places of the world, like India, already knew about this rule before Pythagoras, but Pythagoras is the first person to write it down, which is why it's known as the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's look at our triangle called this side a, this side b, and the hypotenuse is always c. The rule says a squared, which is a times a, plus b squared, which is b times b, equals c times c. So let's do it. To get C by itself, we have to take the square root. Each of these pencils is two inches long. So the square root of two squared plus two squared equals the square root of eight. That's how long our hypotenuse is. The square root of eight is about 2.8 inches or almost three inches long. So we can measure that and see if it's about 2.8. It is. 
Each of our trees is 7 inches long. What's the hypotenuse of our tree triangle? See if you can figure that out. Also, can you draw a triangle that's not a right triangle? What looks different? I will have something for you to try these problems and a few more linked below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!